Now, from the Local 4 Studios, a full wrap-up of local and regional sports with Dustin Nolan. This is Fox 18 Sports Sunday. All right, welcome and, uh, to Fox 18 Sports Sunday. I'm Dustin Nolan. We've got a great show for you tonight. Illinois finally got back in the win column on Saturday. We'll hear from them and their outstanding running back who had a career day in their win on Saturday. Plus, we're talking the Iowa Hawkeyes and their stingy defense, getting seven takeaways in their win over Maryland. But first, we're talking high school volleyball. The Shore Tigers coming off a big win over Rock Ridge on Thursday, winning in two sets to get the sweep. The Tigers have now won 12 straight games to move to 18-2 and two overall on the season and 7-1 and one in the Three Rivers West. Okay, now I'm joined by the Sherrard Tigers as they're joining us here in studio here on Fox 18 Sports Sunday. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your Sunday to join us. And how are you girls doing? I mean, obviously a lot better after the big win over Rock Ridge, right? Yeah, definitely the, the big win over Rock Ridge. You know, that was something we were looking forward to. That wasn't our, our main focus, but definitely when it came up, you know, we were all a little nervous the day of school, um, really focusing in the day of the game and when we got to the game. And so when we pulled off that win, you know, it was a really big celebration for all of us. How great was it to beat Rock Ridge, especially when uh, they beat you earlier in the season, but you got to beat them at home. That had to be pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. I mean, just knowing that at the beginning of the season, we were still figuring everything out, still working through all of our kinks, and then getting to, you know, closer to our second half of the season and working things out and practicing so hard. Um, on all of our different problems that we were having and then being able to fix them all and do what we do best was, was really good. Now, what are your takeaways from that game? Um, I think we all just, you know, we've been trying to start off strong. It's been one of our main goals this season. Um, we didn't do it quite to the completion that we wanted to, but a lot better than some of our other games. Um, just really all working together, knowing, you know, each other and how we play and communicating really well was, was good for all of us. All right, Sydney, we're going to come down to you. You had a nice crowd on Thursday night. What was it like to play in front of a huge crowd like that, and did it motivate you girls even more to get the victory? I think it definitely motivated us. We usually have a crowd but it's not packed like that and it is a really tough conference match so to have that support is really nice for us. Now let's stick on the Rock Ridge uh, game a little bit more. You girls took the first set 25-21 but in the second set you had to make a comeback. You had 11 to nothing run. How did that comeback happen? Um, I kind of blackwell really. <laughs> Her serves are she had us good in the Orient game and she helped us out a lot in the Rock Ridge game and she had how many aces did you have? She had seven aces that game, and she really pulled us back. Abby, we're going to come down to you. All right, for everybody that hasn't been out to Sherrard to see you girls play, how would you describe this team? Well, I would describe us as people who like work together really hard, and we are kind of like a family more than just like a team. So, like, I think people can see that in us when they're watching us play because like even when we're down we all like come back together as like a group. And what's been some of your favorite parts or some of your favorite memories of being part of this program? Um, definitely the Rockridge game like making a comeback because honestly I was getting down on us or like didn't really think we were going to make a comeback and I was like well we can just come back in the third game and like bring our best and whatnot and then McKenna started like bringing us back point by point and it just like really boosted us up. All right, Erica, we're going to come down to you. Where do you feel like this team is playing at this point in time? Are you playing your best volleyball, or is there still room to improve? I still think that we do definitely have a lot more room to improve. I mean, the Rockridge game, we definitely came back, and I feel like that helped us a lot to improve, but I think we still have some more we can work on. What has been some of your favorite parts of being part of this program? Um, definitely just making like more friends. Like being so close with everyone, like especially like how um, our coach brought up the sophomores, Eva and Caitlin. I've gotten really close with them and just close with everyone in the go like in the whole team in general. All right, Casey, we're going to come down to you. Talk about you have Riverdale coming up. Uh, what do you have to do? You have them at home, so what do you have to do to go in there and get the victory? Um, against Riverdale, I think we just really need a lot of confidence because sometimes we get down our down on ourselves. And just like um, start strong, definitely, because like in the Rockridge game, I just kept telling everyone, like, don't be tense, because I definitely feel like that's part of the reason why we don't start strong. So just starting strong and having confidence that we can win. Now, the regular season's winding down pretty quick. You guys won 12 straight games. How do you keep this momentum going? 
Um, like I said, just having confidence that we can because we're a really good team and we all like, there's no drama between us. We're just a big family and we have like the best chemistry. So just having confidence and knowing that we can keep it going. All right, let's get away from the little X's and O's part of the game. What do you like doing outside of uh, volleyball? Um, sand volleyball. I love playing sand volleyball with just like our grade. Um, what? Oh, I sell clothes. <laughs> um, and just hanging out with friends and family. Is that something you might want to do in the future, like design or something like that? With yeah, I'm honestly, I'm thinking about going for like graphic design okay. in college and business management, but I'm not for sure yet. <laughs> All right, Erica, what about you? What are some of your hobbies and what do you like doing outside of volleyball? Um, definitely hanging out with like friends and family and working because I do that a lot too. Um, yeah, I play sand sometimes too. I like doing that and just different things like that. Do you girls get together outside of volleyball and play sand volleyball? Yeah, yeah a lot. <laughs> so volleyball is a really big part of your guys' life? Yeah. Awesome. All right, Abby, let's come down to you. What are some of your favorite hobbies and what do you like doing outside of volleyball? Some of my favorite hobbies are probably like basketball. Me and Sydney, we do like travel basketball and we have since like the fifth grade. And again, we also play sand volleyball and then I like watch a lot of my nieces and nephews all the time. That's about it. Awesome. Sydney, let's come down to you. What about you? Your favorite hobbies? What do you like doing outside of volleyball? Um, basically the same thing. <laughs> I don't want to be repetitive, but no, you're good. Um, sometimes me and my mom just go and visit her mom and our grandparents. Uh, what other things do you like doing? I mean, do you like movies? I mean, what kind of food do you like? What's your favorite kind of food? My favorite kind of food? Mm, I like a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> Probably my grandma's biscuits and gravy. Okay, you can't go wrong with <laughs> yeah. gravy, right? <laughs> All right, cool. Are you any good at making? No. No? <laughs> It'll leave it to Grandma, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. All right, what about you? What are some of your favorite hobbies, and what do you like doing outside of volleyball? Yeah, I, a, lot of our, a lot of our time, you know, is spent, like, in the gym working on things, and I feel like outside of that, we do a lot of different team bonding and getting together, going swimming, like they said, playing sand volleyball. So not only do we spend a lot of time together at school, but mm -hmm. then outside of school, we all hang out. Um, w none of us are ever in, like, grade trouble, so we s spend a lot of our time doing, you know, schoolwork and making, sh making sure our homework's done. Um, me personally, I mean, I, I like Eric, I work, um, hang out with these guys, just kind of <laughs> relax when I can, get a couple extra hours of sleep. That's pretty much it. You got to keep those grades up. If you don't <laughs> keep that up, you can't be on the court, right? Yep. All right. What about you? What do you any kind of favorite foods, books, or anything? I do not like reading. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I don't know. I work at a pizza place. Pizza's pretty good there, so that might be okay. might be one of my tops. What's your favorite kind of pizza? Whew. Pepperoni is always a good, a good salad. Okay, that's a classic. Yeah. That's a classic. Okay, okay. All right, we're going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the Sharar Tigers here on Fox 18 Sports Sunday.